I would say the importance of professional learning is around relevance to the teacher, you know. Funnily enough, you know, if something's not relevant to you, then you're probably not going to engage with it that much. What we're here for as educators is to try and equip our students with the skills they need for the future. So they're best able to be successful after school and therefore um, having that kind of lens on well, what are the skills they'll need when they walk out the door is really important and skills that are likely to elicit the best outcomes for you as an individual are super important for kids. They're super important for adults and um, the place where they kind of exist is, is often in industry, you know, and often in the real world. They're absolutely applicable and valued by industry. Um, they're consistent with the academia that sits behind them and they're underrepresented and under-resourced uh, in our education systems at the moment. So I guess the promise in relation to the framework is that uh, if you can foster these skills in students, then these students will have a more advantageous future. There's a quite a big transition that happens between year six and year seven or stage three and stage four for, for most students. Um, and so schools that have implemented and focused around that stage three area um, have really focused on when you step into high school, you know, this skill will be useful for you because, and here's what that looks like, and let's practice that in a safe environment so that they feel like their students are best equipped to step into a high school with some of those skills already on hand, which, um, you know, makes a lot of sense. Schools that have been successful in stage, with implementing in stage five, had a bit of a focus on re-engagement. Across most um, Western countries, um, the evidence shows a little bit of disengagement and a little bit of academic dip, you know, that happens around that sort of 14, 15, 16 age bracket. Um, and so schools that have been successful have used it to re-engage the students. And um, not in isolation, I guess, is the important thing. What they've used it for is, here's why the curriculum that we're teaching is relevant and here's how it connects in with industry. And this is important to you because um, in not too distant future, you'll be stepping into the world of employment post-schooling. And a lot of people are picking up, you know, their first jobs and those sorts of things. There's this huge library of resources available to us to try and pepper our lessons with some of those strategies that are going to shift the dial and transform the outlook for those students at the other end. I would say, I know how busy you are, um, you know, and I'm not mandating and imposing something from the top. What I'm doing as a leader is I'm creating the space for you to engage with something that's worthwhile. Um, and, and then I would probably step into some of the specifics of um, how that sat against my existing kind of uh, outlook. You know, so if I had a school plan, you know, I would say it sits within this component of it because, um, or I would say, um, as the English faculty, you know, you're going to have the opportunity to kind of pursue this because, uh, you know, all that kind of rationale that sits with it. Mm -hmm.